Welcome back to Suladan Plays Oxenfree 2, Lost Signals. Last time, we found a key. Well, we did letters and things. And we found a key! And I forgot about the key until the end of the episode, so... Where's my map? Map. There we go, map. So I need to go... Here. Okay. Here. So... Okay. Okay. Just want to make sure I remember that, because otherwise I'm going to get distracted and forget about it again, and just it's terrible, terrible things. Uh, for those that don't know, I found a key to the observatory, which probably would have been useful earlier when we were having the whole observatory mishap in the community center, but since I only just found it, I'm going to go there now, assuming the game doesn't stop me, and it does not look like it's going to stop me. Hooray! be so sad if that bridge had broken out or something and been like, no, you may never return. I don't like it when I can't go back to areas. I like to explore at my own pacing. But sometimes it makes sense for a lot of reasons, such as a rock slide or a broken bridge. Although it's, it's shallow, we could have swam across if we had to. The game wouldn't let me, but I mean, realistically speaking. Did that door just open as the... As we faded in, or am I hallucinating already? Anyway, uh, can, can we... Up the stairs. I think it's up here, so I need these stairs. No, it's not. Is it this door? A hot door. Okay, we walked all that way and back. Sense. That key better... Well, that was a lot all at once. So... Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to be... <laughs> I knew something felt weird. I've been using... What the... is all this? This room feels different. Uh... This room feels a little different. Like a kid's room, almost. Right? Yeah. I don't know. Is this where what's her name? Wall. Oh, I thought it said wiring. Wall writing. It is midnight and the time is passing, but I sleep alone. The handwriting leaves something to be desired. Is this where what's her name's been living for years? Stuff. Just, just stuff. Stuff. This is like their private area. Olivia and her friends. I mean, if we had the hour, we could read through their dream journals, hear all about how they're gonna marry. You know, so and so. Or uh, how they're going to open a portal to Ghostland. Typical teenage melodrama. Hmm. Anything else? Anything else? I came all this way for that. Alright, well down the ladder we go. Hmm. Fascinating. Well, that was an adventure. So I guess I'll see it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Not going to dedicate an entire episode to that. Uh, I guess we go to the boat now, because I don't know of anything else we need to do. We got all the letters. We used the key. I mean, that's everything i found. I don't know how I feel about that one random note that plays when I enter this area. I know it's part of the larger musical score, but it's just right when you load it, beep, and then silence for a few seconds. I love the music, don't get me wrong, it's just funny, it makes me jump every time. Alright, to the boat. And I mean, I think there were two different boats. So we have the option of the little boat or the big boat. This looks like the boat that was from the first game, so I'm personally you know, I want to take the ferry. This looks... I don't know. It would get us there fast, but the controls look pretty advanced. Do you know how to drive it? Uh, nope. I'd be worried about crashing into high water rocks. Let's find something simpler. Oh, I thought the game was giving me a choice, and I was going to take the nostalgic one. What's that? Small boat. <laughs> small boat this looks fine yeah here to there is all we need it's Ava's she runs a bait shop 
She always tries to get me to go with her to field test new products. I guess so she could feel less guilty about fishing on the clock. I mean, I, I guess it's important work. Dude, she was totally flirting with you. I mean, clearly she had T-ball level game, but still, that's a proper flirt. Hey, Jake, let's go skewer some worms. That's when I knew we were meant to be. It's padlock to the dock, and we need the key to start the thing. But I bet all the coins in my pocket that the key's in the shop. And knowing Ava, the door's probably unlocked. No one's exactly itching to steal leeches and mealworms, so. Okay, so we need a code for the lock and a key for the boat. And hopefully some calm water after that. Come on. Or small boat. Wanna use this? I, I, I do not, and neither do you. Edwards is way too far out. This would take light years. We need something with a little more uh, seahorse power. Oh, is this a <laughs> a little bit of a Goldilocks scenario? Too big, too small, just right. Anyway, you seem to know where the bait shop is, so I guess I'm following you. Oh, Eva's got wor Eva's got worms. Might not be the name I would have gone with. Ha! Knew it. No one secures their damn doors in this town. Tomorrow, I'm convincing Ava to buy a padlock. I'll stay out here and keep watch. If we're in trouble, I'll, uh, whistle or something. Calendar. 7-Eleven is highlighted. Huh. Okay. M-B? Ah, oh, sale on Nightcrawlers. And me, without my checkbook. I was gonna say Madeline Borglund, good, right? but that's the wrong game. I have no idea what I'm saying. MB brings a whole different set of thoughts to my mind. Key. Okay, seriously, woman, are you trying to get your boat stolen? Eh, Maybe. whatever. Gift horse, mouth, etc. I think all that leaves is the code for the lock so I can untie the boat. Family photo. Aw, happy birthday, Marco. <laughs> that is a lot of chocolate cake. Wait, MB. Marco's birthday? At least you remember to lock this. Yeah. Is is the code 7-Eleven? That's all we got to go on, so it better be. <laughs> One can hope. Alright, I need to get that mouse out. Did, did you hear that? Athena? <gasps> Athena! Pupper! Oh, Athena! It's you freaking knucklehead! Oh, I'm gonna kill you! Oh my god, I was so worried! Man, Jacob, I bet you're happy. Uh, you have no idea. She seems alright. Is it okay if I pet her? Uh, let's find out. Athena, can Riley pet you? Athena, speak. <laughs> That means yes. You know how many TV remotes this mud has obliterated? Oh, uh, Athena, I swear to Vishnu, I'm getting you a bell. A very large bell that you can hear from Wisconsin. No more running off. Athena, speak. Oh, she is the chattiest of Kathy's, believe me. When do oh, I get to pet man, the dog? This is... oh, sorry. I'm uh, not usually like this, <gasps> you know, pet but the dog. Uh, it's been a long night. She's my home, you know? She's my home. It's just... It's nice to feel an achievement. For once. It's okay, Jacob. It's all right. All right, come on, girl. Oh, I thought we were going to take her back home, but where are you? You going to put her on the bus? I'll be right back. Like, right the hell back. So don't you wiggle away. You hear me? Good night. My good girl, stay here. Sound good? Speak. <laughs> Sounds good. I have to do this thing. It's an opportunity to do something important. And, uh, if I don't make it back, it's not because I didn't try. The one in town will take you in. They all know you. You'll, uh, you'll be okay. Okay? Okay. I'm ready. <gasps> that
We shall return, possibly maybe in another timeline or a scattering of 13 different timelines. You think you know the code? What was it, 711? 711. Ta-da. Hey, nice work. Okie doke. After you, ladies first. Age before, ooh, um, mm. yeah, after you. He was gonna say age before beauty. Uh, hey, come on, get on. But this Mmm, yeah. I have learned my lesson. I could pause the game and think about complicated questions. Uh. Mm. If I tell... Uh, bleh, bleh. Yeah. Uh. Is there a problem? Jacob, I really... I think you should stay here. What? <laughs> no, I'm... What? <laughs> Riley, what are you doing? Why wouldn't I go? Look, Jacob, you should stay with Athena. What we're doing? What I have to do? It's... This is unacceptably dangerous. My conscience is already well below sea level. I'm not adding getting a guy killed who was just trying to do a job. Okay? No! Not okay! Riley, we have the same job. Just get on the boat. This is stupid. Riley. Please, Jacob, just go take care of your dog, okay? You found her. That's just take the win. Riley, come on. I'm going. Why pretend I'm not? You're gonna need my help. <sighs> How far do I push this <laughs> is the question. Like, they're having a good moment and it's very well written, but like... Which would be the better option, to relent and like, ah, fine, or do you stand your ground, or I... I'm just, I'm just going to keep going with Jacob, the protective one. sorry. No. Riley, I can physically I'm... stop you from going. Do you... Do we okay, need to... Okay, 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 Jesus. I... Uh, I didn't... I didn't want it to end like this. This is because of the gingerbread story, isn't it? I know I shouldn't have told you about that. No, come on, man. We're friends. We're just at the end of our night. That's all. Last call had to come sometime. I don't know if I'd have phrased it that way. Well, it's been, uh... It's been. I'll see you off. Of course. I'd like that. Small boat. Hey, Riley. That kid has a good mom. A really good mom. Thanks, Jacob. I do want him to come along, don't get me wrong, but, you know, keeping him safe also seems like an apt thing to do. I really thought I was just going to run right into the buoy. I was having so many dredge flashbacks. So many buoys. So much carnage. Well, out of gas. Ah, oh, hey, sorry, don't crash. I couldn't exactly knock. Yeah, welcome aboard. Hope you don't get seasick. I uh, don't get anything. You've been alone for a while, Riley. You had Jacob tonight, but you put a stop to that for your own reasons. Something tells me you like being alone, but you can't do this that way. So... Hey! Huh, works for me. The more the merrier. I used to say, the more the scarier. <laughs> for fun. I think it's pretty fitting this time, though. If I had brought him, would she have not been here, or would it have been three of us? This game always makes me ask so many questions. I always have mixed feelings about that concept in games. Like, I like the idea... You know, I... I like the idea that it can make every playthrough unique in its own way, and it can even make it so that different players get to see different things, but the completionist in me grates at it because it's like... 
I must see it, but I don't want to play the game a thousand times to see all the different permutations that I could have done. And it just, there's this kind of weird inner conflict over the idea. It's honestly the reason why I've never gotten much into, uh, I was going to just say tactical RPG games, but I think I'll be open fire, the Fire Emblem games because I think they have a ton of different endings. Basically, little tiny differences depending on who lives and who dies and all that. And I don't know. I've never played them, but, you know, it's just I get burned out when it comes to too much in that uh, region. But Oxenfree does a good job of it. I'm not complaining there. I just am wondering in the back of my mind whether what the with, yeah, which would have been the correct choice here. And I was smart and I do have a backup of the save file. So if we have to rewind, we can or if we decide to go both routes. You never know with an oxen free game. For all I know, this is going to end with us back at the start of the game for round two. <laughs> Don't know how to swim. My brother drowned before he could teach me. And it just took the desire right out. I was or am allergic to chlorine anyway. Sorry to hear about your brother. Well, it happened a long time ago. I've been thinking a lot about what he would say about all of this. About what I've done, about what I'm doing. I think he would be upset with me. But I guess I'll never know for sure. Yeah, well, I didn't know him, so I have no idea. He was a good guy. And he cared about people. He liked people in a way that I couldn't, really. Where I've been, my friends and I, void, eternity, whatever you want to call it. It's easy to get lost in it, to just exist with what's in there. You can just go for days, months, years, I don't know. Forever if you want. The days just swirl. Peaceful days, painless days. I just couldn't pretend it was real anymore. Uh, I guess it's not important if you understand. A forever filled with peaceful, painless days. Why would you ever want to leave that? Nothing matters when you're in there. It's just memories, the past. I maybe could have closed my eyes and ignored all of that, but my friends didn't ask for this. And sure, we have good days. We have perfect days. But Jonas is never going to go to college. And Nona is never going to have another recital. And Ren is never going to crash another party he wasn't invited to. Mm -hmm. Not in there. Stop trying to escape, Alex. I'm sorry this happened to you. I really am. But quit messing with my reality. Yours went a bad way, but it's done. Well, I think I scared her off. Almost there. Oops. I don't know what I'm gonna do, Riley. I, I can't promise anything after we stop the sunken. If we stop the sunken, I should say. I'd like to say that this is it. I'll just walk into the nothing again and find some measure of happiness. It's possible. I think it's possible. But... I miss thinking about learning to swim in the ocean. I miss wanting to see Australia. I missed my brother when I was alive. I never thought I'd miss that feeling. If it's all memories, shouldn't you remember time, missing him? Riley. I promise I won't take any more of it than is necessary. It depends on what you define as necessary. And there she goes. Oh look, I think we're at the other side because the camera's panning out. Or maybe it's panning out to show us that we're swimming up to Cthulhu. Nope, there's an island. Or is it Cthulhu covered in rocks? How can you be sure? You have to dig up every island just to be sure. I should replay Dredge. <laughs> All this boating has got me missing it. <laughs> uh, good game.
Hmm. Weird. Where did Olivia duck? She didn't. She swam. Actually, knowing that girl, I doubt she gave much thought to it at all. <laughs> I hope I still have time. She jumped onto the dock, and then the boat drifted away. She's like, well... <sighs> Where is that girl? We just got here. Hush. I got so much... Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? Alex? Are you... How do I get to the sign? When the flag is flying, we are running? Must be for the ferry. Yeah, it means if you see the flag on the pole that the ferry is in operation. Give a or... Oh, Dad. I wanted an ornament from this place so bad, and you said ten bucks was insane. You were right. Olivia wouldn't have gone down there, I don't think. Now, the question is, how big is this area, or is it just going to be like one little nostalgia trip and then the stuff? I didn't know they allowed cars here. Yeah, that car was there in Oxford Free One, too. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa. Well, he sunk, so... I forgot they recovered the propeller. Turned it into this. Ominous mu Beautiful music, but it is ominous. It just has an air of tension to it. I think I knew someone's older brother who used to work here. Yeah, loving, loving the audio design. This game is really on point with its audio design. Just the footstep sounds, the music keeping the general mood. Wait, a lamp now? What is going on? Well, break out the radio. Fire, Anne's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't understand what you're... Fire! Man's great equalizer. Hey, wait, Alex! We're, we're still just, like, getting our feet wet, so... What's Don't the, uh, what's the, like... Don't worry. I don't know you're here. There echoes stuck between time. My friends and me. Olivia's opening the portal already. Or will or has. The, the timelines are converging. Trying to get us there, but the jumps are erratic. We'll glitch again soon. Just wait a second. These are your friends. Kind of, yes and no. They... Yes, it's hard to explain. They're shadows of themselves. But yes, Riley, these are my friends. Beyond all odds, these are my friends. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? Pretty goddamn weird, Jonas. You know, in the moments after you drop a glass bottle or lose your keys or trip, and you just keep replaying the minutes right before it happened over and over. Why didn't I just not do that? Why, why didn't I just... Why didn't I drown instead of Michael? Alex, that's not the answer and you know it. You're not what went wrong. A military test went wrong and you got caught in it. So did you. I've been thinking. In all the times I've tried this, and in all the times you've stopped me, you never came here. You never came to the island. And I don't know what that means. Oh, wait. I... We're going to see Olivia now. Ooh, okay. I, know, I remember this, this place. Looks bad. It looks bad because it is, but we still have time. Follow me up. I'm gonna try and convince Olivia before it's too late. You destroyed her radio, so it'll slow her down a little, but not enough. Do I climb? Do you climb? Why a storm? What am I not seeing up above? Uh, we're running out of time. Olivia's on the roof. Come if only on. I could look up. We have to hurry. Olivia! If you can hear me, Ooh, you that. have to stop! You don't know what you're doing! Okay, well, it's pretty. No, 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 it shouldn't be this! I can do this! I can do this! I can do this! Stay there! Don't come near me! 
Too late. It's already done. You're too late. Olivia, come on, honey, just just back away. Olivia! I, I know what you think is going to happen, but it won't. Not like this. You quit. You said you said you could <gasps> I think I done goofed. <laughs>